Late afternoon coming up on civilized temperatures at the Kung Fu Saloon in downtown Austin, Texas. I can't think of a better time to be hanging out with my BFS, Diamond Jim Tyler. Good to and see Andrew you. Andrew Heaton of the Political Orphanage. Andrew, so uh, Andrew has you. no idea what he's about to be. Uh -oh. in. I, I know that magic comes from the dark arts. I assume we sacrifice a goat and then we're able to do card tricks. That's my understanding of how magic works. Pretty close. Okay, cool. All right. So we're going to try a uh, prediction effect. I'm going to try to read your mind in an interesting way. You're going to think of a big random number. Okay. You're generate that number. Uh, I have a prediction in this envelope. I'll place it here. What's inside will be important in just a moment. Okay. And so I want you to generate a number. It can be between 10 and 10 million. Uh, whatever number you like. Write it down. So, uh, norm okay, normally magicians have a whole bunch of like rules. It's like it must be a prime number, greater than but less than, and also not haunted. Right. Any number that you like. Now, Here's where the math comes it's in. It's my favorite four-digit number. Continue. Oh, is it? It's your pen? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't tell them. <laughs> so now you're going to add up all of those digits. Okay. And then you're going to subtract the result from your original number to create an even more random number. Okay, all right. Better try to create a random number, one that you didn't even know we were going to choose. So now you'll have a new number. It's my second favorite number. Okay. Now, that new number, you're going to add up all the digits until you get one digit. So if it's like 412, It'll be gotcha. You'll end up with white. What seven? I think. Seven. Yeah. yeah seven. But, but, but if you add up enough digits that you get like seventeen, then I assume you would add up the one and the seven to get eight. Right. Got it. So keep on adding up all the numbers and then yeah, reducing. So it. add up that to get a number, and then you'll add up those numbers to get a smaller number to get down to one digit. So yes, if it's yes. eleven, then, then it add the two, two together. Correct. Yeah, correct. 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 Yeah. And inside of this envelope, I'll tell you now before I see your number. Oh man, you're tipping it early. Yep. Yeah, you can hear there's some coins in here. There's some change. And this is exactly half of the final number. So if you end up with 10, there's going to be a nickel inside here. If you get four, that'll be two cents. So whatever number you end up with, there'll be exactly half amount out of change. Do, and, do, do you have your number? Yes, I think I think I I think I did it. I just kept adding. And it will be exactly. If not, I'll give you a hundred bucks. He picked any number he wants, added up, subtracted, took all, took those digits, kept on adding them up. And he's got some secret number now that none of us could have known. Right. And you have a prediction. You said there's exactly the amount of, of what change in here that matches half of his number. Yes. How amazed on a scale of one to kangaroo would you be if... Oh, if, man, I'd, I'd say triple kangaroo right there. Oh, wow. There. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd like... I, I will immediately think that you have created a pact with the Dark Lord. <laughs> would you buy a round for, for all of us if he gets it? Well, but I also stand to win $100, right? So the bet is either That's $100 true. or I buy you three drinks. I'd be stupid not yeah. to do it. All right. right. All right. So what's your final number? Uh, the final number I got was nine. Nine. Okay. So that would okay. be half of that is... Well, four and a half. Well, you'd have to round up to like... So four uh, and a half. Hold on. You said exactly. I did say exactly, didn't I? So it'd be I? four pennies and a shilling. <laughs> I think that's how that works. Dude, would you freak out if it was four pennies and a shilling? If it, I will, if it's four pennies and a shilling, I'm going to name my kid Diamond Jim. I don't want you to think that I'm using sleight of hand, so I'm going to let you open the envelope, dump out the contents. Right. And so we said, what, four? It's four, four yeah, and a... Dump it out on, on the... Whoa! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> and you don't... You don't very often encounter half a penny. <laughs> so I don't think that's random. I think you knew that in advance. I am very impressed, and I will gladly buy you drinks. What's funny, what's funny is Andrew's so sincere that you think he's acting right now, but I guarantee you he's legitimately oh, blown yeah. away. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, this bit, this bit is what gets me. Did you think that you had screwed us something I up? I did or? not know how you were gonna do four and a half. And I was already preparing in my mind, don't feel bad, Diamond <laughs> Joe speeches. Of like, listen, man, it can happen to anybody. Don't, don't worry about it. You were pretty close with six. This is one of my all time favorites from your book, Bamboozlers. We covered it almost 10 years ago on Scam School. I'm so glad that we're revisiting it because uh, it's got that, that classic magician in trouble plot twist. That moment when you see in their eyes, I've they're got, like, got you. oh, you screwed up, son. And then you're like, oh, I don't know. Let's see how many there are. Now you did it with an envelope this time. I think originally I I did it just by you know saying, oh let me reach into my pocket. I'm gonna pull out some change and I monkey around. There you go. And then I hold it. So that sort of sells the idea that I'm just kind of grabbing a few pennies here or there. But walk us through the math. Why does this always come out to be nine? So it just it's one of those weird things that somebody smarter than me figured out that if you subtract the result of each of the digits from the original number, the result will always be 
a multiple of nine. So if you add up all of the final digits, they will always equal nine. Let's say no matter how long it is, let's say it's a let's say it's one 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 one. Right. Well I guess if you add all that up, you get nine. Well, and then subtract it from one 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 one. That'll be a multiple of nine. Yes. And then you just keep on reducing it so you end up with nine. But the key is that last operation of divide it in half. Right. How do you get a half a coin? Because they don't sell them anymore. Uh, they they do sell shears where you can actually cut metal, but okay. what I did is just took two pairs of pliers and bent the coin back and forth until it broke in half. At home, uh, we'll put it in a vise and just kind of knock it with a hammer, it'll break right in half. Yeah. I think I can replicate it, I, but I do yeah. not fathom. It's, it's like, in, like in quantum mechanics, they don't get how like now the dead cat got here. I think I can get to the dead cat. I don't understand who okay. I killed well, the cat. Let's, let's see, you are going to be the magician now and you perform it for us. I want to do a trick and I want to see if I can guess the number you're thinking of. Okay. Are you intrigued? Of course. I'm intrigued. Good. <laughs> Here's what I want you to do. Pick any number between one and 10 million. If you want to do over 10 million, that's cool. Just let me know so we can get you more paper. Okay. But uh, any, any amount of digits is fine. Write it down. I am not going to look at it. Do not let me see it. So far, so good. Add one more digit, okay? Great. Now, take all of the digits in the number you wrote and add them up until you've got a number. Okay. And I want you to subtract that from the original number you wrote. So far, okay. two for two. You're I'm gonna, crushing it. I'm going to do this. All you're missing is a big pointy hat with some <laughs> moons and stars on it. I'm just waiting until my beard goes white. <laughs> if my beard goes white, I can go full Gandalf. We're not going to do any more subtraction. I want you to take the numbers and just add them up and keep adding them up until you've got one digit, right? I got it. Okay. So, okay, I'm doing that now. Done. I have one digit now. Yeah? Yes. Okay. What I have put inside of this envelope is half of whatever digit you have listed. Believe me? <laughs> I, I actually do. <laughs> then in that case, I won't try to lure you into me buying you drinks, or vice versa, and I'm certainly not gonna bet $100 because I am not that confident in my ability to pull this off. That said though, Diamond Jim, would you please open said envelope and see if it's half the number on your page? Uh, my final number was nine. Okay. My, my original number is three, two, one, four, one. As I thought. And I, yep. <laughs> oh, and, and this inside. is actually a good point because if you have them open the prediction first, it spoils the surprise, and then they're like, "Why is there half a coin?" And then they see it matches. It's slightly better if you say, "What number do you have?" And then it sounds like you're screwed because it's oh, four and a half. Like it's that. even better if you can get them to express their absolute disbelief that your prediction is half of their number. But that was well done, sir. Thank you very well much. Played.